what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to simply go over what i truly believe is the most important aspect the most important step when it comes to facebook ads and and really trying to accomplish your goal really trying to accomplish your end um roi whatever that end goal may be this is where i truly believe it starts i've spoken to thousands and thousands of small business owners um since 2017 alone and if you guys are, are new to my channel, my name is David. I've been, I'm out here in San Diego and I've been building a social media agency since 2017. So um, if you can imagine, all I do all day is speak to small business owners and give them advice and consult them on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So I've spoken to a lot. I've closed hundreds and hundreds of clients. I have YouTube videos on, on, on all that, documenting all that. And that's this whole channel. My whole channel is just simply documenting what I'm currently doing, whether I'm building a business online for myself and running Facebook ads and landing pages and putting together email automations, or I'm doing that for other clients and simply consulting. That's what this channel is all about. So if you're into that type of stuff, online marketing, um, reaching out to, to, to clients and finding out how you can get better at that and, and, and closing sales, then you're in the right place. So subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. But after speaking to thousands and thousands of business owners at this point, I really narrow it down. The common denominator is, I truly believe, 99% miss this first and most important step, and that's the ad objective. What is the objective? Now, I truly believe that we all have the same type of goal. Like we all are either shooting for an online appointment, we're all shooting for a lead, or we're all trying to make some type of online sell, right? So, Many, many times over and over and over, I'll ask a client, what is your end goal? What is the objective? What are you trying to do? And normally it's one of those three. Capture a lead, get someone to schedule an appointment, or make an online sell. And then I go into their ad account. I analyze and review their, their, their setup, and it's always this. It's always this. It's not really the back end part or, or, or the ad or the image or what they wrote in the ad. It's never that. Um, it's always this first step, choosing your ad objective. So in today's video, I'm going to simply go over each one and kind of just explain the importance of it and where you should really be putting your money when it comes to choosing the correct objective based on your goal. Okay, so this is the first step, right? You come into the ads manager, you smash that green button, and then this is these are our different options. Now, again, just because you're putting out a video, video views may not be the consideration. Video views may not be the objective, right? So if your goal is to is to is to make a sell and it's a video, right? But you come over here and you choose video views because logically you're thinking, let me get thousands of people to view this video. And if I can get thousands of people to view the video, people will buy. That's not what Facebook is going to deliver, right? That's not the type of person Facebook is going to find for you. They're going to find people who are literally looking to watch your video, video views. So right here, when I'm talking to my clients, I'm like, man, this cannot be any more specific than what is laid out right here. Like this, this is where it all starts, but at the same time, it's very specific. Whatever you tell Facebook to do here is exactly what you're going to get out of it. Okay. So let's start with, I know I went into video views, but let me touch on each one. Let's go, let's go down the line to each one. And then you guys can kind of determine what, what's best for you. But again, based on my experience and speaking to a lot of people, it's really those three lead, appointment or making a sell. So with that being said, I'll kind of just touch on each one and then you can kind of, you know, think to yourself which one is is best for you. When it comes when 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 we start on the left-hand side brand awareness and reach. That's exactly what that is. Is 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 just putting out an ad. It's kind of like boosting a post where you go in, you boost a post and you just let it be seen, right? There's really no call to action. There's really no no link to a landing page. It's just quote unquote boosting a post. That's kind of just, that's kind of brand awareness. That's reach. It's just getting that ad to as many people as possible. And that's all it is, right? Just get, letting people know exactly that you, that, that, that you're, that you exist. It's just awareness. It's exactly what it is. So, so again, what you see there laid out, the keyword brand awareness is exactly what Facebook, can, Facebook's going to deliver. Now, again, 
after speaking to thousands of people, I truly believe that budget is everything. Our budget is everything. Most of us, most of you guys that are watching this video, you guys don't have unlimited budgets, like for sure. I know that for a fact. Most people watching this video right now, you do not have an unlimited marketing budget. So brand awareness and reach, that's kind of, those are kind of ads that you can run if you have additional budget, if you have additional resources, if you have more money than most, if you have a bigger budget than most, um, then you could play around with brand awareness and reach. But the biggest things that you want to get out of that is you always want to make sure that you're creating a custom audience. So if we're running ads for the hell of it, and that's what I call brand awareness and reach, it's kind of just running ads for the hell of it, letting people know that you exist, letting people, getting people aware of your brand and your ad. But again, no real call to action. Um, that's unlimited budget. So I don't think most of us even run that ad because again, if I'm going to put a dollar in, I better make sure I get something out and it's either going to be a lead, an appointment or make a sell. I don't have extra money just to play around just to get you aware, uh, uh, just to get you aware of my business, right? But if you do, then you can always play around with brand awareness, reach. You can use videos for that. You can use images for that. Um, and that just kind of gives your, 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 your post or your, maybe your Facebook business page or your Instagram page more exposure. That's all it is, is just, I call that burning money. Um, you don't really need that objective. Now, if you are going to be running brand awareness or reach, just make sure that you're setting up custom audiences. That's the most important. So if you are tying that that post to a to an actual page, if you're tying it to an actual landing page or, or your Shopify store or whatever, and you're going with brand awareness or reach, then you always want to make sure that you're creating a custom audience around that video, or maybe you're creating a custom audience around that page. So if, if I'm clicking on your ad, you're running brand awareness and reach, I'm clicking on your ad, I'm going to your page, there better be a custom audience around that page, around that link, right? So if, you're, if I'm clicking, going to your landing page, custom audience. If I'm clicking on different parts of your website, custom audience. Don't just have your pixel on the page, make sure each page is set up as a specific custom audience. That's so important because again, if you're going to be running brand awareness or reach, it's really for the data. It's really to collect the data of those who either watched your video or those who landed on specific web pages, custom audiences. Okay. So that's your biggest, the biggest ROI that you would get from, from that type of awareness objective. Okay. Is the custom audiences, the data. Okay. So now in the middle consideration, we got traffic engagement, app installs, video views, lead generation messages. Traffic is simply taking people running an ad and saying, Hey, Facebook, I'm trying to get as many people to this page as possible. Okay. That's the objective. The objective is to get them to click on the ad, go to your landing page, not to do anything on the landing page, just to go to your landing page. So the only reason why you would run traffic is again for data. That's what this is all about. So that's why when I consult with clients, it's not always about those top three lead, appointment, or making a sell. I truly believe that it's not always about those three. Now, when you're on your last dollar and you're trying to run an ad, you're like, holy shit, David, I got freaking 300 bucks left. I need to run ads. I need to make sure that this shit turns into some sales and, or, or else I'm freaking going to be homeless, right? If that's the case, it's like, dude, traffic is not what you want to be running. Like the objective is to not just get you to go to my webpage. The objective is to get you to opt in, lead. The objective is to get you to schedule an appointment. The objective is to get you to buy my shit, right? If that's the objective, traffic is not what you're going to be doing at all, right? Traffic is just getting people to a web page. Now, what you want to do for sure, again, is make sure that when I click, you're running a traffic ad, I click. I go to your web page, the Facebook pixel better be on that page and that page better be set up as a custom audience because that's what you're getting out of traffic ads. You're getting the data of those who are landing on your page. But I normally don't go traffic because I'm not just trying to get you to my landing page. I don't need traffic to get to the landing page. I need I need I need I need I need people to click and buy my shit, right? That's a different objective which we'll we'll get there. So if again, if you just have 
unlimited budget, right? Then playing around with brand awareness, reach and traffic is, is what you can do. But I, I, I think the biggest takeaway out of those three, for example, is the data that you'll be getting out, out of the custom audiences. So you can run an, an image ad, you can run a, a, a video ad, and you can run traffic, but just make sure you're collecting the data. Make sure that the custom audiences are set up, okay? Set up around the video or set up around the web page that you're driving the traffic to. That's going to be your best friend is the fact that you're building a custom audience and you're going to be able to use that custom audience to retarget with future ads. That's the biggest, biggest thing out of those three, okay? Brand awareness, reach traffic is, is the ability to retarget that audience. That's what you're really paying for. Engagement is simply engagement. It's leaving people on Facebook. So if you're running an ad and you and all you care about is getting people to click like, getting people to share it, getting people to comment below, that's engagement. But again, most of us, we don't have an unlimited budget. So I'm trying to get you to do one of the top three. Me personally, I'm always looking for a lead. I'm looking for an appointment or I'm looking to make a sell, right? That's not engagement. So if I'm just blowing my budget on running engagement ads and my one of my objectives is one of the top three, I'm going to blow my money because that's not going to happen with an engagement ad. Engagement is simply leaving people on Facebook and getting them to engage with that one post. Okay, so again, based on your business model, whatever your business may, 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 um, may, may consist of, then, you know, again, take my experience, take what I'm showing you here, take it, take it for what it's worth. But, um, and so when you see those posts on Facebook that have freaking 57,000 likes, 1 million freaking comments and 3 billion people shared it, that's an engagement ad. It's not because that person's popular or because that person has 15 billion people liking their business page and, and everyone that likes their business page is liking that post. No, hell no. That's not where it's coming from. It's coming from an engagement ad. They're just pouring a shitload of money into that engagement ad. And why would people even do that, right? Again, you have more money to spend than most, for one. Um, and for two, the reason why they would do that is because that type of post, when you see a post that has all that engagement that attracts people. They're like, holy shit, what the heck was, what's that? Let me click on that. Like, let me see what that is. Right. So it, 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 it does cause curiosity, create, it creates curiosity and it gets that, it gets that brand or your post to look legit, to, to look popular, to look like that shit is popping because so many people freaking engaged with it. Right. So that for what it's worth, that could be worth the money. You know, you put a hundred bucks at an engagement ad and get a shitload of people to share it, like it, comment. That could be that could be worth something, you know, in the future, because you can always take that post and run a different ad on, on it in the future. So if I ran an engagement ad and had a shitload of people to engage with it, and now I have all this social proof, likes, comments, shares, then I could take that one ad and that one post in the future, and I can run a video view, or I can run a conversion, or I can run, you know, freaking lead generation. Like I can always turn it into something else. I can use that one post with all the freaking engagement, um, social proof, and 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 create a whole nother ad with it in the future. So it could be worth it at times to run an engagement just to have that type of, of, of social proof is what you're really paying for, okay? App installs is what it is. If you have an app, you're trying to get people to download your app, app installs is for sure the one, the only one, right? That's the obvious one to go with, which I don't have an app. I don't really talk to businesses that have apps. So I don't run app installs, but it is what it is. It's clearly right there what it is. And, and, and if you guys do have an app, then boom, go with that one. Video views. Video views, in my opinion, is for one purpose, one reason, um, one thing only, and that's to capture the custom audience. It's all about custom audiences, you guys. It's all about building up the data of people who have engaged in your previous shit. That's what all it is. They either engaged and watched your previous video that you ran as an ad or they clicked, went over to your website, and you created a custom audience around all those visitors, of, visitors over there. Now, with video views, that's what it's all about, is you're running video ads, and you're simply creating audiences around those who are watching three seconds of it, 10, 10 seconds of it, 15 seconds of it, 25% of your video. So we have a two-minute video, right? And we're going to create a custom audience around everyone who watches 25% of it. That is why you would run video views. It's simply to capture the data of those who watch it and the ability to leverage that data by retargeting that audience with future ads, right? That's why you would run video views. So again, if you're shooting for the top three, lead, 
appointment, making a sell, and you have a video that you're running. It's not video views, okay? That's not what you're going to be doing. You're not going to be running a video views. You're only running video views to capture the data. So that's someone who may have a little bit more budget, right? So if you have a little bit more budget, then maybe you're running traffic to capture the data. Maybe you're, you're running engagement to get all the engagement um, on that post. Maybe you're running video views to capture the audience of those who watch your stuff. Because again, custom audiences are so powerful because there are people who engaged and there are people who saw you before. So if I put out a, a, a ton of video ads, right? And and my whole and I'm running video views, and my whole objective is just to get the get the data and create the audiences of those who are watching it, then that's only gonna make my retargeting and my future ads, because again, if I'm shooting for one of the top three, lead, appointment, or sell, that's only going to help my future ads convert even higher because I'm retargeting those who already know me. They've already seen previous ads, right? Because I've been running video views. So they've already been watching my videos for the past few ads. Now I'm putting another, another ad in front of them. And now I'm going for the lead. Now I'm going for the sell. Now I'm going for the appointment. And I'm only retargeting those who have watched my previous videos. So video views, you guys, the biggest ROI out of that is the fact that you're creating a custom audience around all those who are watching it. Okay. Now you can create a custom audience around everyone who watched your entire two minute video, but that audience would be super small. So what I always do is I'll, I'll always create custom audiences around 15 second or 25%. And if you guys, again, I have videos on all this stuff. So maybe go to my playlist here on YouTube and go to um, how to run Facebook ads. You'll see a ton of ads on how on our tub of ton of videos of me setting up all these different custom audiences and, and video ads. So you may want to may, may want to take a look at that playlist if you want to learn how to run a video ad, but um, that's what you should be doing: running that video ad and creating the custom audience. That's video views, okay? And then lead generation are for those that are capturing leads, but that objective is for those those of you who don't have a landing page. So if you don't have an outside of third party software like a ClickFunnels or a Kartra or lead pages or a, a Kajabi or a Mailchimp whatever. If you don't have a third party software that you're driving your traffic to, a web page that you're driving your traffic to and your objective is to capture leads, then lead generation is is going to be your best friend cuz that's when you can use uh, Facebook's lead form and you can capture leads using their simple form. That's lead generation. Um, now I'm in the lead business, right? I'm looking to capture leads, but I have a third party software. I have a third party web page, which, which is my landing pages. And I use Kartra for all that. So if you guys are, are, are looking for landing pages, email autoresponder, an online calendar, all that stuff, there's a 14 day trial in the description, profitwithkartra.online. That one software runs my entire online business. I've been on that software since 2018 and, it, and it's literally everything and more that, 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 that I need to build a successful online business. Profitwithkartra.online, try it out for 14 days. Um, once you activate your account, you'll get an email from me inviting you to join us for our weekly group coaching. I do I do group coaching every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, which I simply break down that software and teach you how to use it. It's a live Q&A, so you can jump on and I can answer your questions and help you get off to a fast start with that software. Profitwithkartra.online, link is in the description. But again, if you don't have anything like that, then lead generation is, is, what, you'll, is what you'll have to do, have to use. Um, um, if, if, if you're looking to capture leads. Okay. And then messages is exactly what it is. You run a Facebook ad, they click on learn more, they click on the ad and then right away, Facebook messenger pops up. So to do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your many chat because you're going to want to automate that. So what I would highly recommend is going to many chat and making sure that your account is all set up over there with many chat. This is many chat right here. This is the Facebook Messenger, automated messenger um, um, app. Um, and I'm pretty sure Facebook owns ManyChat, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Facebook owns ManyChat. But, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But this is what you want to set up for sure because this integrates with your Facebook Messenger. So when you start running Facebook message ads, then it's automated, right? What I would do if I were you is I would set up a handful of automated messages, right, that, that, that relate to what the ad pertains to or whatever your message may be, um, automate that, right? Automate 
and you can do all that through ManyChat. So ManyChat is an entire automated chat bot that you integrate with Facebook. And, and you want to do that before you run message ads. So there's many different things you can do with that. Like I could, I could run a message ad using ManyChat and, and, and my objective was to capture a lead. Okay, boom, I just captured it. My objective is to get them to schedule an appointment. Okay, in the many chat automated message, I'll provide a link to my calendar. And that's the objective is to get people to schedule an appointment or, or even make a sell, right? I use messages, I use many chat and I set up a handful of automated messages. And in these messages, there's a link to my Shopify store where people can buy my shit, right? So you can get creative with it if you want. Um, and that's what I would do. I would automate the entire thing thing using using ManyChat. Um, and then and then once you capture leads in ManyChat, that's where they end up being housed. They end up being housed inside of ManyChat. That becomes your little CRM, and that's where you can automate messages um, to communicate and nurture that list all through ManyChat. And there's a free version of ManyChat, and then I think there's obviously a, a yeah there's pricing. There's a paid uh, version of ManyChat, right? So look into that ManyChat.com um, if messages is what you're shooting for. Okay. Now over to the right one, and I'll end it over here conversions. This right here is going to be your best bet. If you're looking to capture a lead, schedule an appointment or make a sell, it's conversions. Okay. So knowing these objectives is going to save you an arm and a leg when you start running ads and you start noticing that your goal is not being accomplished. It's all because of here. So you have to know the right objective. You have to start off. Um, this is what I call step one. You have to know 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 these different um, objectives and which one applies to your business. So again, if you're like most of us, lead appointment sell. It's conversions now. Before you run conversions, you want to make sure you set up a custom conversion. So. If you stay to the end of this video, and I'll link the, the, the video below as well, but if you stay to the end, you'll see my conversions video pop up, how to set up a custom conversion. You want to make sure you do that first, set up a custom conversion, and then that would give you the ability to run conversion ads. Um, that's your best bet. A conversion ad is, is what's going to help you, you know, accomplish your goal. Um, catalog sales is for those of you that have a, a Shopify or a, or a WooCommerce or some type of online store. That's catalog sales right here. Use your target audience to show people ads with items from your catalog. And then store traffic right here. Show your ad to people most likely to visit your physical stores when you're near them. So if you have a physical brick and mortar store or a restaurant or any type of shop, right? You can run store traffic and get people to your door, which is absolutely crazy, right? So what I do 99% of the time is conversions and video views. That's what I do. Okay. So um, you can run traffic, you can run traffic, but it's really, it's really conversions and video views. Now, the one thing that you want to do first is you want to and I call this when I'm speaking to clients from all across the spectrum, I always advise them where the very, very first ad you should run is engagement. And it's a one-time ad, page likes. So if you look at your Facebook business page, how many likes do you have on that business page, right? How many likes do you have over there? That right there is, is, is simple credibility. It's simple social proof. If I land on your business page and see 110, 110 likes, versus landing on your business page for the, for the first time and seeing 10,000, there's a difference in perception. There's a difference in credibility. There's a, a completely different first impression when that person lands there. You sh you're showing them 100 likes with, with, and that page looks like shit. There's no links. There's no freaking dot com. Let me show you. If you come to my business page, right? Let's say you're just like, okay, trying to find out who the hell this guy David is. And, and then you come over here to my page. Let me go to the visitor, to the visit or to the, um, um, visitor view or whatever the hell you call it um, right here. The, this is the admin view. Okay. You land here as a visitor for the first time. You see 10,000. You scroll down. You see my website. You see my email. You see my social media icons. Everything looks legit. Everything is optimized. Everything is matching one name for all. Update your shit like this. I've seen tens and tens of thousands of business pages and they all look like crap. No links are listed. And if they are, they're all freaking different. And then I come here and I see freaking 210 likes. It's like, dude, and, you, and you've been in business for the past 17 years. You got 200 likes. It's like, dude, the very first ad needs to be 
engagement, page likes. And simply run that ad, put a few bucks. If you need help with that ad, reach out to me. Comment below and say, David, help me run the like ad. That one ad, you should only put a few bucks towards it to get a shitload of likes. Um, and likes are not where leads come from, okay? Facebook only shows that post. Whenever you post on your business page, Facebook only shows it to 1% of the like count. Leads don't come from the likes, but the credibility does. When you land on the page and you see 10,000 versus landing here and seeing 109, there's a difference there. You have no idea. You guys have absolutely no idea how much money I've made just by showing people the like count. Just by showing them the damn light count, right? Whether I'm showing it to them or they're landing here and seeing it for them damn for their for for their for, for them them damn selves, you have no idea how much money that made that that's made me. Just the stupid like number, right? So I truly believe in that. I truly believe the like ad needs to be the very first ad before you go and play around with any of these other ads. Run engagement, run page likes, and 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 get that like count up. Okay, so. If you need help on, on, on setting up custom audiences or, or knowing what conversions, I have a free download, a free cheat sheet. It's fbadscheatsheet.com. You'll see that link in the description. Download that FBAds cheat sheet. That's going to help you understand the different custom audiences and the different custom conversions that you should be setting up based on your business. Okay, so that's kind of what I had for you guys um, today. That right there is where I see many, many people fall and, and drop the ball um, and, 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 and really never see an ROI is because they're not choosing the right objective based on their goal. Okay. So hopefully that helped you guys. Again, if you're new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and a digital publishing company. So if you're into making money online, if you're into social media marketing, Facebook advertising, landing pages, and all that shit, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys are working on and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys. So step up your game and stop wasting your money. I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.